I'm Josh Kirvin, welcome to another Death Battle Prediction video, but first, Guts vs. Nightmare. Well guys, I think that might be my favorite episode of the show so far. Even though they did essentially nerf Guts a little bit with a lot of his higher stats, and they did make up the fact about Nightmare uh, busting the castle, those are basically the only two things in the entire episode that were slightly faulty. And they aren't even that bad. Um, the fight animation was completely amazing, and I actually, this is one of the times when the arena actually stood out to me as being exceptionally chosen. They chose like a dark forest for very dark characters. Um, the progression was interesting where they went from Nightmare to Night Terror to Inferno, because apparently Inferno is strong. Well, he's not stronger even. They didn't even say that, but they had him fight last got one shot at anyway, or rather Cinder got one shot at, so now we've seen another Killer Instinct character lose, apparently. Um, there's not too much else to say besides the fact that that episode was very well done. Uh, so without further ado, um, Iron Man versus Lex Luthor. This is another one of those fights where it sounds good when you first get the announcement for it, but then when you actually look at it, it's a bit of a stomp and a half. Um, I didn't actually have too much time to research this one because of work and animation and stuff like that recently, but uh, I did what I could in regards to searching out some things to say on this topic. Um, a lot of this actually just comes down to the arsenal that they have and who they fight. Iron Man, he has his various buster suits, which uh, could be used here if they use the Iron Legion. Otherwise, he'll be going with Bleeding Edge armor. Um, all of his Buster suits have ultimately been failures. The Hulk Buster suit failed. Uh, the Thor Buster suit seeded until Thor decided that punching him would work, which it did. And then the Hulk Buster suit was a completely huge failure. There was, like, nothing redeemable out of them. Um, point is that Iron Man, for the most part, he needs to prep for situations. Um, Lex Luthor, on the other hand, he just... He can just go into the fight as he wants. He fights Superman, he fights Wonder Woman, he fights Green Lanterns. He's had a Green Lantern a couple times. Um, and not only that, but even without his suit, his body is a clone that has both Superman and his own DNA in it which makes it so that he has superhuman stats on his own. And even without that, let's talk a bit of a speed difference. Uh, Iron Man is probably somewhere in the relativistic range. Uh, Lex Luthor, on the other hand, once had a fight where he chased Brainiac around the solar system over the span of a m couple minutes or so, maybe, then caught Brainiac and snapped his neck. That is a massively faster than light feat, and it's something that Iron Man has no possible method of countering. Like, the fight would realistically be over before Tony could blink. Um, in regards to people saying that... <sighs> Every video I yawn. <laughs> in regards to people saying that Lex Luthor could have his suit hacked by Tony, um, that's really not too much of an issue because people have tried that in DC. They've tried to hack Lex Luthor's stuff and it never works because I would actually argue that Lex Luthor is smarter than Tony as well. They're, they're probably roughly comparable on um, technology, but when it comes to other things like genetics and various other scientific theories and stuff, Lex Luthor just completely blows Tony out of the water. Um, so then we have to come down to if Tony isn't fast enough to beat Lex, does he have anything that could destroy him in one shot? Not really, considering the fact that Lex Luthor goes up against Superman and them, he should have roughly planet level durability, something that Iron Man has never shown to surpass. Um, so hey, maybe Iron Man could just overwhelm him with the Iron Legion. No, Lex Luthor has these thing called boom tubes. They basically open up extra-dimensional rifts that he can just shunt things through. 
and there's no particular reason why he couldn't just open one up on Tony's face and just BFR him, uh, which is battlefield removal. It, Tony would die eventually when he's in that other dimension. Um, so overall, this fight's a little bit stompy when you really look at it. Um, thematically, it's a good fight. And based on what we've seen of the uh, animation through Torian screenshots, the animation itself is going to be fantastic. The models that they're using for Lex and Iron Man look really good. Um, there's really not too much for me to say on this one because I wasn't able to do a full uh, investigation into it. But just from what I know and what I've read since the announcement of the video... Uh, it's just a bit stompy. So I look forward to seeing what we have next, and uh, I will see you guys next time.